Esri offers a complete GIS and mapping platform for telecommunication planning, fulfillment, and assurance. In this demonstration, we will see how the latest in spatial big data and artificial intelligence analysis tools can aid network planners in understanding where and when new wireless access points should be deployed. Now of the hundreds of spatial analysis tools that Esri offers, we'll focus on five different analysis techniques to help us solve the problem of where to deploy our wireless infrastructure. The first technique is clustering. And on the map, we have our dropped call locations from across the Orlando region. But just looking at these points, it's very difficult to see any patterns in this data. So using clustering analysis, we can group these points together based on similar location or similar attribution. The results produce this heat map with low to high volumes of dropped calls, allowing for our network planners to see areas of poor coverage quality. The second analysis technique is called geo-enrichment, which takes third-party data like demographic information and appends it to your own data sets. So in this example, we want to geo-enrich our existing Orlando region with population growth information so that our network planners can locate where we might have additional subscribers in the future. Here we can see another heat map that shows our population growth rate across the Orlando area. The third analysis technique is prediction. Prediction tools allow us to look at historical patterns and trends within our data and predict where something may happen in the future. On our map, we are looking at call records since 2013, and we want to understand how much data has been consumed by our customers and where they may be continuing to consume a lot of data in the future. First, we use our space-time cube analysis to aggregate the total tonnage of data into hexagon bins that represent a segment of time. Here we can see those bins from 2013 all the way to 2017. Now this result allows us to visually see where we have less and more data consumption, but it doesn't really tell us or help us predict where data will be consumed in the future. So then we turn to our emerging hotspot tool, which allows us to get statistically significant cold and hot spots. For example, in the downtown Orlando region, we have an intensifying hotspot, which means we've always seen a lot of data being consumed, and more recently in time, we're still seeing a high volume of data consumption. But we also start to see some new hotspots on the outliers of the city, which means there has been a significant spike in data consumption more recently in time. So this allows our network planners to forecast capacity needs for the future. Next is suitability analysis, which allows us to locate areas of high suitability for addressing our network issues and forecasts. We do this by ranking our previous analysis results from low to high based on which criteria we want to address the most with a new wireless access point. For example, we have our emerging hotspot analysis results ranked from one to seven, with five, six, and seven being the areas we really want to address with our new wireless access point. We have done similar rankings with our dropped call analysis, as well as our population growth analysis. And the last factor that we want to include into our suitability analysis is proximity to existing fiber. So where we put our new access point, we want to ensure that it's not too far away from our existing network, which means it would cost way too much for us to fiber backhaul. Now, when we combine all of these inputs into our model and run it, the results return these areas of high suitability for a new wireless access point, which will allow us to address future data consumption, poor coverage and dropped calls, and projected subscriber or population growth. Finally, the last analysis technique is classification. Classification uses deep learning to locate objects within images, 
like poles within aerial imagery. So now that we have the areas we want to deploy a new wireless access point into are suitable areas, we need to locate poles, water towers, and other structures we can potentially attach our equipment to. So instead of sending a field crew out to inspect the entire area, let's use object detection to find the exact poles and locations we should send our crews to inspect. So using our previously taught deep learning algorithm, we can locate potential poles within our imagery, reducing the area that our crews need to go out and inspect. Using these five different big data and artificial intelligence analysis techniques, our network planners were able to locate the exact locations where new network enhancements would address the network issues that our customers are experiencing today or would be experiencing in the future.